Hey guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick to death of how poor the draft coverage has been this year, so I've decided to make another video for you guys. If you follow us on social media, you've probably caught a glimpse of our recent Phantom Drafts, but in this video, I'd like to go ahead and do something a little different. Every year without fail, we see players bolt up or slide down the draft order. In other words, they go significantly earlier or significantly later than pre-draft estimations by those who follow the draft. Last year, Brandon Stasevic and Will Powell were two players in particular that went earlier than expected. On the other hand, James Warple and Sam Hayes are two that went far later than expected. In this video, I'm going to nominate some potential bolters and sliders in this year's draft. Just a disclaimer, this video is more for the purpose of a fun prediction than a genuine gut feel, so don't take what I say too much to heart. In terms of draft bolters, my first nomination is Riley Collier Dawkins. Collier Dawkins is a Bontempelli style tall midfielder with a large capacity to add size to his frame. His strengths include his ability to win the ball in the stoppage and then burst free and deliver the ball with his speed and his skill. A recent growth spurt means Collier Dawkins has significant upside and these types have the potential to bolt. This is why I think he is a good chance to go as early as the top dozen picks. The second bolter isn't so much of a bolter as such. Isaac Rankin is already considered likely to go in the first five selections in this draft, most likely to Port Adelaide at pick five. Considered by some to be the best talent in this draft, Rankin is a creative midfielder forward with genuine X factor. Recently, talk has surfaced that Rankin could be selected with Gold Coast pick three. My personal theory is that this could be misinformation intended to bait the South Australian clubs to trade up with the Suns to acquire this pick. Therefore, my prediction is that Rankin goes at pick three, but to the Adelaide Crows. I also have two nominations for sliders. The first one is West Australian halfback Jordan Clark. Clark is widely considered to be a borderline top 10 talent and easily the best WA prospect. However, it has been recently reported that he has been unfortunately diagnosed with glandular fever. Given this is a wholly unpredictable illness, it is possible that this could be a deterrent for clubs selecting with picks in the top 15. I hope I'm wrong and want only the best for young Clark but I think this could see him potentially slide it into the 20s or 30s of the draft. My second slider is another Western Australian. For most, Ian Hill has been one of the hardest prospects to place in this draft. On talent, he is arguably a top 15 prospect. However, there have been some ambiguous concerns about both his attitude and how he projects as a player at the next level. Assuming he gets past Fremantle at pick 14, I can see Hill sliding his way into the 30s of the draft. The other WA team, West Coast, have nominated academy talent Jared Cameron in the draft, and I feel it is unlikely they will double up on similar type players. So there you go, my bolters and sliders for this upcoming draft. Of course, we know that every club will have their own subjective rankings of the players available, and thus, rankings are likely to vary wildly from club to club. As such, the advent of bolters and sliders isn't really a reflection of the player specifically, but more on how difficult it really is for the media and pundits to make draft predictions with any real accuracy. We hope you enjoyed this short video. Comment below your own nominations, or simply comment which player you want your team to draft. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to keep up with all of our content. Thank you.